this lecture we will discuss the Fourier analysis of some commonly used waveform in the power electronics and one of them is the uh, square waveform. So um, what is the Fourier analysis? Basically it is the representation of a signal in terms of cosine and sine frequencies and uh, the DC value. So Fourier series expression is given as uh, f of t that is equal to uh, a naught where a naught is the DC value of the signal and um, summation of the cosine and sine frequencies where a n is the magnitude of the uh, cosine frequencies and the b n is the magnitude of the um, sine terms sine of n omega t where n varies from uh, 1 to um, infinity. Okay, so um, A naught in this case is the um, DC value of the signal and it is given as 1 by time period integration from 0 to t uh, f of t with respect to d omega t or um, dt. So uh, this can be written as 1 by 2 pi from 0 to 2 pi f of t with respect to t omega t. Okay, wait. Uh, An is the magnitude of the cosine terms and that is given as in general 2 by time period integration from 0 to t f of t multiplied with cos of n omega t with respect to d omega t and the Bn is the magnitude of the sine terms and that is given as, as 2 by time period from 0 to t f of t into sine of n omega t with respect to um, d omega t n and bn are the magnitudes okay so uh, now let's consider uh, the um, uh, square waveform. The square waveform uh, is this one. Let's suppose that um, uh, the magnitude of the square waveform is um, plus Vs and minus Vs and um, is of certain frequency. So let's suppose this is plus Vs and this one is minus Vs and this is time pi, uh, angle pi and this is to buy and it's a periodic signal. Okay, so um, now we want to evaluate A naught, A and B in for this one. So now if I evaluate um, A naught, A naught is basically um, the average DC value uh, of the signal. So it depends upon the area under the curve. So if you look at the area under the curve over here, it is, it is um, uh, Vs into pi and the area under the curve over here is minus Vs into pi so the net area of this waveform is 0 so its average DC value will be 0 so in terms of expression I can write it uh, 1 by 2 pi integration from 0 to 2 pi uh, f of t with respect to d omega t that will be equal to 1 by 2 pi uh, integration from 0 to pi it's uh, plus Vs with respect to d omega t and um, from pi to 2 pi it's minus vs so integrating from pi to 2 pi with minus vs with respect to d omega t and if you evaluate this expression this will come out to be uh, 0 so the average dc value of the square waveform um, of this particular waveform is going to be the uh, 0 1 now let's evaluate a n that's the magnitude of the um, cosine terms I will call it the cosine frequency. So um, that is equal to 1 by pi integration of the uh, signal over the interval. So f of t into cos of n omega t with respect to d omega t. And if I evaluate this one, I will write it uh, 1 by pi integration of the signal from 0 to pi uh, Vs cos of n omega t with respect to d omega t minus from pi to um, 2 pi Vs cos of 
and omega t with respect to d omega t okay now if we uh, simplify this one so this will be equal to v s by pi uh, integration from 0 to pi cos of n omega t with respect to d omega t minus from pi to 2 pi cos of n omega t with respect to um, d omega t and if you simplify this one you will be getting the zero one so there is no cosine um, frequency in this uh, particular square wave form now let's evaluate um, uh, the bn the bn will be uh, given as 1 pi pi integration from 0 to 2 pi over the time period uh, f of t into sine of n omega t with respect to d omega t so expanding this one i can write uh, this is equal to 1 by pi and from 0 to pi our signal is plus vs um, and um, uh, from uh, pi to 2 pi it is minus vs sine of n omega t with respect to d omega t okay so simplifying this one i can write it is 1 by pi uh, 1 by pi and taking vs common out so vs by uh, pi integration of uh, sine n omega t and that is minus cos of n omega t divided by n as we are integrating with respect to omega it should be divided by n so the limits are from 0 to pi minus um, cos of um, n omega t divided by n and um, this vs will be multiplied with all of this and the limits of um, um, integration for this one are from pi to 2 pi so um, now if we simplify this one the bn will be equal to uh, vs by pi uh, by n taking n out so minus cos n pi plus cos of 0 plus cos of um, 2 n pi minus cos n pi and um, I can write it that v s by n pi into minus 2 cos n pi plus cos 2 n pi plus cos of 0 so now let's evaluate this expression for um, even values of the n and then for the odd values of the n. So bn if we evaluate for the uh, even values so it will be vs by uh, n pi and um, uh, minus 2 uh, because for any value of the um, for any value of the n uh, this one uh, So this will be evaluated. So consider n as an uh, e1 number first of all. So this will be um, let's can say n is equal to 2. So cos of 2 pi um, then cos of um, uh, 2 into 2 4 pi. So if we evaluate uh, uh, this one so this will come out to be minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so finally the 0 1 so when n is an e1 number um, bn is 0 so bn is equal to 0 for n being an e1 number okay now let's uh, calculate it for the odd values of the n so bn will be equal to vs by n pi into minus uh, 2 cos of n pi and um, uh, this n pi um, will be uh, equal to minus uh, uh, 1 
so um, minus 1 over here plus uh, 2 cos n pi now considering n is equal to 1 so cos of pi is um, going to be um, uh, 1 uh, plus 1 so this will come out to be 4 v s by n uh, pi so the value of b n is uh, 4 v s by n pi uh, when n is an uh, odd number so now uh, um, taking the Fourier series expression that is f of t is equal to a naught plus um, summation of uh, sine and cosine terms starting from n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos of n omega t plus b n sine of um, n omega t so uh, for this particular waveform that we are discussing a naught is 0 a n is 0 so we are left with b n uh, only uh, so summation n is equal to 1 to uh, infinity and b n sine of um, n omega t so now using the value of the um, uh, b n so our scale waveform will be and represented uh, in terms of Fourier series with the help of this expression 4 v s by n pi into sine of um, an omega t where n is an uh, odd number up to uh, infinity okay so um, this is the Fourier series representation of the um, um, this um, uh, waveform so now we uh, sketch the spectrum of this um, waveform. Spectrum means the plotting the magnitude of the sine frequencies with respect to the harmonic order. So um, let's suppose that um, um, uh, we have this set of axes. Okay, so harmonic order is on one side and the magnitude of the harmonic order on the other side. So uh, n is over here and the magnitude that is uh, 4 v s by n pi that is uh, over here so now if I um, sketch um, if I take the value n is equal to 1 so the magnitude of the uh, first harmonic let's suppose is this one that is 4 v s by uh, pi so um, n is equal to 2 that um, uh, will be 0 in this case because this expression is only valid for the odd value then considering n is equal to 3 and if I sketch um, that one so um, uh, this will be 4 v s by 3 pi and um, then n is equal to 4 it will be 0 for n is equal to 5 it will be one fifth so for v s by five pi for n is equal to six it will be zero for n is equal to seven one um, we have four v s by seven pi and so on so if we um, sketch all of those ones uh, uh, higher order harmonic so those will be a very small magnitude so as the harmonic order increases the magnitude of the harmonic will be um, uh, decreasing because we have the uh, division uh, by n in the magnitude um, uh, that is given as bn for v s by uh, n pi so um, now if I uh, consider it normalized considering it to be the hundred percent so uh, the, uh, this harmonic is a 33.33 uh, percent and then this harmonic is um, uh, 20 percent with respect to our first harmonic and um, this one is fundamental um, this one is the third harmonic this one is the fifth harmonic and um, sixth harmonic is zero the seventh harmonic if we evaluate that one it will be 16.66 percent uh, with respect to our fundamental the eighth harmonic will be absent and um, and then uh, dividing by 9 it will be around about 11.11 percent and so on so as the magnitude of the harmonics um, as the order of the harmonics increases the magnitude 
of the harmonics degree. So if you look at that one, you can see the um, if we combine all, all of these points um, like that. So magnitude of the harmonics is decreasing with the increase of the harmonic order. So um, the fundamental component is the highest one. The fundamental component um, uh, is being considered 100% with respect to that um, the normalized spectrum can be aspect. So um, this one is the um, harmonic um, order and uh, this one is the magnitude of the uh, harmonics. So only odd harmonics exist and even harmonics are uh, zero in the case of the square wave form which uh,